<laughs> all right all right what's going on party people this your man griff who just got out of a um commercial loan this one was cool this one was a cool commercial loan it was a what made it different you know i had three signers um i don't think i ever had three signers before and um the documents was very different from what I'm used to seeing. It was with a different commercial loan company and a different signing company, but everything went smooth. Um, it was a, man, it was a lot of pages, a lot of pages, but everybody was just was just on point. The signers, I mean, they was was on point. So um, yeah, I had a really really good time with that one. Um, I love the commercial loans. They're they're not hard at all because pretty much um, I will almost want to say 98% of the time, maybe they say 97% of the time, the actual signers have really had already have reviewed the loans because most commercial loans that I've dealt with have been for over a million dollars. Um, so they are very meticulous in looking things over their attorneys all of that and that's the big difference between the commercial loans and the residential is because with the commercial they have attorneys sitting there looking this stuff over and making sure that everything is the way it's supposed to be the addendums and all of that so there honestly isn't anything for me to say except make sure you sign here sign here initial date now the biggest difference with this one they had so many initial spots on there so every single page darn near every single page needed to be initial um and everything so had to double check triple check that that was done and um and we got it all done there was individual pages for them to sign then there was pages for them to sign as a as um as a team so it was very very unique and then there was one document um i wasn't sure <laughs> who's supposed to sign it and um the gentleman there he was able to he figured that out he said oh yeah that that one's i know about that one i'm supposed to sign it and what was difficult from my standpoint there was you know a lot of times with the commercial loans there really aren't any instructions to the notary there i mean there's like there was no instructions whatsoever so like hey make sure this gets done that get done so as a point of reference when you're doing commercial one of the things you really 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 have to do is double check the internal parts of the um the deeds and things of that nature uh, and the notes because sometimes in the verbiage after the first page all these various statements sometimes they may want them to initial something in there and um and i didn't see anything so they all initialed it at the bottom of the page um basically saying we've read this over and all of that and i preferred to be at the bottom rather than in like paragraph 2 paragraph 12 paragraph 14b and all of that kind of stuff so this was um pretty pretty easy to do you know so got that done it took a little more than an hour but that was fine um just had to take our time so we could get it done right and it wasn't so much like oh well you got a second copy when commercial with commercial loans sometimes they want you to submit the um the loan right then and there at the table so of course you got to have a portable scanner um this one i didn't have to so what i wanted to do was make sure that we all focused slowed down and got everything signed and initialed and dated correctly so that um when i get home i scan it upload it everything is good to go um a lot of times when you're dealing with commercial loan signers a lot of times they have so much stuff going on you really got to help them to stay focused on what you're doing here um because sometimes about 50 percent of the ones i've done in my career notary career the person has like five or six things going on and sometimes they can get ahead of you and if they start getting ahead thinking they you know get into a pattern and you know in other words these documents don't require dates and then all of a sudden there's a date field and then they don't date it or vice versa so you really got to make sure everybody is focused and not distracted 
with other things so that everything can be done correctly and especially if you're going to be scanning from the table because when you scan they're not going to let you go until they review it and make sure everything is done correctly so you don't want a bunch of going back and forth and then most definitely you don't want to get all the way home and then realize oh man i missed this i missed that and i double i think i checked my the stuff four times um and I, I can still have missed something and i talked to them about that but i don't think i did um so now it's just a matter of scanning uploading and then i don't i'm not going to immediately drop the documents just in case there is something that i missed they can let me know and i've already told them we'll I, you know connect with them and wherever i have to go to i'll get it done so it was good it was good so don't be afraid of commercial loans i think i've done a video about that look on search youtube i mean yeah search youtube by typing you know um, griffin notary commercial or commercial loan and i think i've done a video or two about that even you know what this year i think i might have had at least like this within the last six months but commercial loans i like them because everything is already laid out all you got to do is just watch them sign a date and initial where applicable and then you do your part stamp and all of that i didn't have to add any notarial certificates or any of that so it's all about you knowing how to notarize and doing that part it's not about you trying to explain the terms and conditions and all of that because they had addendums in there and they was looking for certain things hey this is changed or that should be changed well they added this in there well, well you know well this is added in there but we don't need that well yeah we do need it because of this that and the other oh okay i see why we need it okay good i'm, I'm good with that that's the only time i got nervous when that situation came up and they was like well in this addendum they want us to do this and we're not doing that because of this and they worked it out to where everybody understood why it was i was like okay cool because what i did i was hoping wouldn't happen is that they said no nah, we got to get that addendum rewritten and then i got to stay there longer and wait for them and then go home and print if they didn't have a printer which i believe they did so and that has happened before so you don't you know those kind of things i don't want to happen but it can and if it does you know you just roll with it and sometimes they'll pay you a little extra for you know the delay and all of that but it was smooth everything was good um yeah i i like this one the company that particular commercial loan company was good and the people made a good connection with them it appears that they got a lot going on i don't know why this person is trying to cut in front of me and stuff don't do that <laughs> get you behind behind me goodness people acting all crazy around here um but yeah so that's what's going on yeah keep going keep going what is wrong with people and then they got this huge suv that's about five thousand pounds and you know you can't stop those things on a dime <laughs> but free to friday tonight y'all um yeah we're going to talk about acknowledgements again but we're going to talk about the proper way to do um loose certificates adding um adding an acknowledgement because there's a particular way that i there, there's a there's an error that people are doing um and i didn't realize this i heard it once or twice i think but i've been hearing about it more recently and i don't know why people are doing this but i will cover it tonight um and make sure everybody's aj squared away with that so that that is not an issue anymore um because it's 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 not correct the way people are doing um attachment certificates is not correct um so i will make sure i cover that tonight and i was going to talk about i think i probably will about will ai kick notaries out that's the question will ai take over what we do as notaries so i'm gonna talk about that tonight also and it was something else and i don't forgot what it was something else popped in my head i might oh i might have to do a review about um notary pay again because there have been some questions about that but um we'll see and anything else y'all want to talk about all right well y'all have a good one go do these scans and get ready for my next one which i don't even have the documents for yet all right talk to y'all later peace